All right. Hey, hey, hey. God bless you all. It's me, Crystal for Jesus, back with another video. Oh my goodness, y'all. I am so excited. First and foremost, I have to give all praise and glory to the Lord Jesus Christ because he literally just healed me of my um, throat uh, sickness and everything. It was not going away, y'all. I'm telling you, I was just like flopping around in my chair, just sitting here like, Lord, come on, please. Just... I need this to go away, you know, and so I'm, I, y'all, I love Jesus, and I'm just, I'm so blessed, like, he's always going to provide for us, he's always going to help us, and I'm just, ah, I'm so happy right now, <laughs> can you imagine, um, a quick testimony, y'all, I was, I was reading my Bible, because obviously I'm, you know, come to God when you're distressed and you're not feeling well and I was reading it and I was like trying to find some verses in my new prayer bible you know and I was, I flipped to protection and I'm like all right I'll read some protection you know let's let's read some protection here and so as I'm reading this you know I'm praying the scripture to myself in Psalms chapter 5 so Psalms 5 I was praying the scripture from verses 1 and, and then I went to uh, chapter 6 and to verse 8 and you know I was just reading this and it's David he's crying out you know and he's asking for love and rescue and to be saved and his sobbing and he's worn out you know <laughs> I was just like saying that but like in my own wording you know and I got to verse 8 and I was just like, go away, all you who do evil, for the Lord has heard my weeping. The Lord has heard my plea. The Lord will answer my prayer. And when I read that, I just started to feel that frog in my throat, that just something, that goo that just whatever it was y'all in my throat that was like not did not want to leave me I just started feeling it like leave me like disappear as I was reading that scripture the Lord has heard my plea the Lord will answer my prayer and I'm telling y'all I started feeling it right now and so I I'm just so blessed and I'm like I'm really grateful and thankful for all of your prayers also as well y'all because it means so much to me and obviously this job I'm required to be talking so the enemy of course he's going to be attacking my throat and stuff you know so I just have to like anyways I I was instantly like oh my goodness it's 3 a.m in the morning right now what do, what do I do Lord and he was just like get to work <laughs> get to work right <laughs> so here I am, y'all. I had to share that with y'all. I have to do that at the beginning because you have to give God the glory for, you know, like, come on, he's real. He heals us. Amen. I don't even know if I was going to get rid of that. It was just like, felt like something that just did not want to leave me. <sighs> so I am on the mend. I am feeling better after, you know, less like 30 minutes. Um... I'm feeling really so much better. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so happy. So, y'all, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this. We have a left behind rapture dream we need to get ready for. The Lord is speaking to us. He's telling us that he is coming. We got so many signs, y'all, so many signs. So let's go ahead and get into this. So in this dream, it all started that I was just minding my own business, you know, like any other dream. Until me and my family were having some party. I don't know what kind of party we're celebrating, but it is. All of a sudden, I saw the Lord in the night sky. He was so radiant. You know, the moon shines at night, that type of radiance. All of a sudden, I heard angels crying in the in the sky because you know when the lord returns the angels will blow their trumpets they were shouting are you ready for his arrival after the angels had said that i was waiting to be raptured the ground was shaking to the point you can see little pebbles trembling after a few seconds 
I felt like I'm not being raptured. I saw my little cousins, my little brother, my little and only brother, and a few people disappeared in a blink of an eye. Then I saw in the sky in a single file line, and then boom, they were gone. I saw Jesus came down, which back then I don't know why, but I ran to him. Before I get to utter a word, he said, depart from me. I never knew you. Like I was so confused and kind of shocked. I ran up to him again. Again, he said, depart from me. I never knew you. I was shocked and cried, why, Lord? He angrily, he angrily yet calmly replied, anger and aggression. Which after a f few seconds realizing what that meant, I was shook because I had anger in my heart to my family who were are unrepentant and lukewarm. To the point I expressed anger instead of unconditional love. Then after that, he disappeared. I saw the Chinese army coming to the U.S. after the rapture. They were taking me and other people hostage into the white abandoned building with Chinese posters. I can somewhat understand one of the posters, which is behind a couple of Chinese soldiers. It said, you will be charged a fine for leaving, something like that. Like, I don't know, but that's what I somewhat understand. We were soon taken to this theater cinema room. It showed a preview about a microchip, which is the mark of the beast. At the moment of watching the preview, I felt scared and doomed. After watching the preview, we were taken to this Chinese dump. I know, <laughs> I keep saying Chinese all the time. Which is supposed to be our prison cells. I chose to spread the gospel there since I didn't done it. The next day, it's the day where you either accept the mark or be executed. Which it even shows on the sign on the door. I saw a couple of girls crying behind me. I soon start feeling remorse and rather be killed because I was a murderer in the heart. Because you know how God says that whoever hates his brother or has anger is a murderer. Which God said, and even God says, no idolater, no slanderer, no murderer, no homosexuals or sorcerers or slanderers, swindlers and all that will inherit the kingdom of God. After that, I woke up. My brothers and sisters, Jesus is coming back very soon. He said that in the last days, many dream, many will dream dreams and see visions. Get ready. I know realize, like, I know realize that the party was an Easter party, which is one of the days of the 24 solar eclipse. If you have family or friends who aren't saved, even though you told them about God and what he has done for the world, the least we can do is pray for them and hope the Lord will open their hearts. Please, we have no time left. From your brother, Angel. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you so much, Brother Angel, for sending this to me and emailing me. I really appreciate it. I'm so, I'm just, wow. What a beautiful dream to be given, even though you were left behind. But hey, I've had rapture dreams too, where I was left behind. And it's just, you know, it's just a loving, just calling of like, hey, Make sure you're right with me. Make sure that you have no unforgiveness. You know, make sure that you are living for me. Make sure that you are not backslidden. Make sure that you are focusing on me and knowing that I am coming soon and working for me and staying prepared. You know, it's definitely hard when we have to deal with our unbelieving family members, certainly because, you know, I know that I... I have difficulty sometimes with, you know, m some of my family members, you know, and um, it's just like when you have to go visit them or see them and, 
you know, the certain kinds of things that they might say or, you know, just the things that they will do that just seem so unloving, right? Because, you know, we know what, what, what love is and what way to love that God shows us. But there's a different kind of love that the world has, you know, that's just different and just not fun <laughs> and not, you know, enjoyable many times, you know. So I deal with that a lot, too, you know. And it's just whenever we get those feelings, you guys, of just not not knowing what to do and you start fantasizing about, like, <laughs> you know, being mean to them or saying this or saying that. And it's just like, no, you have to remember that God is the one that knows the perfect answer to give somebody and the perfect way to treat someone. Right. So we have to treat them the way that God would want us to treat them. And, you know, he says in the word of God that a loving answer will turn away wrath. So even when someone is being mean to you, when you come out in love and show it, show and share love that, that actually softens them, you know, because, you know, they're expecting you to just retaliate, you know? And so when you don't, then you get different responses and eventually, you know, they'll start to feel bad and right. And then you can get somewhere with that. So, so y'all, I hope that this blessed you and encouraged you. And with that, with all that being said, <laughs> um, I love y'all. If you made it to the end of this video, please leave below in the comments, some hearts and crosses and I love you guys so much. I love you. I hope to uh, see you all again soon in the next video. So love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.